Good evening, and hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for checking in. I appreciate the support that I've gotten so far. I know it'll continue to grow. I'm going to change things up a little bit this evening. Today, with this video, I'm going to be real. In my last few videos, I know I've been a little salesman-like. Um, I, I believe everything that I'm saying. I have uh, not in any way exaggerated or overstated any of the opinions or beliefs that I have in any of them, but I do understand how it comes across. What I want to do tonight, what I want to do right now is go deeper. I want to get into something that is so important to becoming successful, truly successful, to the point that you get beyond success and into that higher level. If you want to get as far as your dreams can go, you've got to have a reason. You've got to have a drive. You've got to have a purpose that is larger than yourself, a purpose that's larger than money. You've got to have your why. Most people have heard this from one mentor or another, one teacher or another. I'm not sure I understood the full meaning of that until very recently. Up until extremely recently, I didn't hardly believe in myself. And that has slowly been being altered and changed through the study of Dan Locke's material, the taking notes, the I mean, the, the YouTube videos. I have notebooks I could go grab right now, right here, and show you, uh, uh, filled with pages of notes that I've taken just from the YouTube videos, from his Fu Money book. It's it's transformative. If you really sit down, study it, and look into it, it can change your life. And I'm looking forward to all that comes with it. But I had to really examine my why. Now initially, it was to provide. I'm a man. I want to take care of my family. I want to provide financially. I want to provide security. I want to provide, you know, for, for, for everyone. Enough that we don't ever have to say, we can't do that right now, kids. We can't afford it. Uh, we don't ever have to have, you know, that conversation, my wife and I, of, um, you know, this is something that we would like to do. do. Do we go get the nice washer and dryer that we really want? Or do we have to sacrifice and get, you know, the lower end brand just because it's all we can afford right now? We don't want to take away from something else. These are decisions I've had to make all my life. But worse. My wife has got to be one of the most wonderful people in this world. She has done for me what nobody else in this world ever has or ever will. Um, I, I have given her many, many reasons why she could walk away from me and maybe should have at some points. There were times when she's worked two jobs to keep up because I wasn't working at all. Um, I, I had a lot of things I had to get through. I took a little longer to grow up than some. And she put up with all of it. I, I used to have a fairly bad temper. I lacked self-control. And uh, I would yell and scream and and, and call names. I never got physical. I've never in my life put my hands on a woman in anger. I never will. Um, but sometimes I think she would have preferred me to just slap her than to say some of the things that I said. I'll never be able to make up for that. No matter how much financial security I make, no matter what I ever do, I will never be able to make up for everything she has sacrificed for me. But by God, I'm going to die trying. That
that is a reason far, far beyond we can't afford this. That is a meaning deeper inside of me than any amount of money could ever buy. My wife has given up dreams, hopes, wants to support me to try to drag me out of where I was to try to help me to become the man I am now and now that I am and I'm going to skyrocket forward I am looking forward to her having that peace finally a lot of people's why will boil down to their own peace of mind their own security, their own being able to say, I got here, being able to buy mom or dad a house, being able to, you know, pay off a, a good friend's medical bill, um, being able to donate or give to, you know, a, a, a hospital or a cause that you really believe in, which cancer has very much affected my family. I've lost an aunt and an uncle. My father's a cancer survivor. I mean, I, I get it. I plan on giving plenty into uh, you know, the cancer research and, and these kinds of things. Um, yeah, I could go into all of that. Um, there, there's lots that I want to do there. But all of that, in the long run, honestly, is superficial. Every bit of that is good stuff. It's stuff that I want to do. It's stuff that would be great to be able to do, but that's exactly what it is. It'd be great to be able to do. It's the same kind of thoughts that average Joe has, sitting at home, watching TV, drinking his beer, thinking, you know what, it'd be nice to be able to have that boat. And then they don't do shit to get there. It'd be nice to be able to. That's that's where they sit. That's where those superficial things are. But my wife, on the other hand, and where I have put our family in the past where they have helped me to grow and become. That is a drive that nothing but the hand of God himself can stop. My wife believes in me now. She has seen what I can do. She has seen the man that I have become. She has seen the relationship changes between her and I, between our children and I because of some of the things that I'm learning if you watched my video yesterday um, if you're part of the HTC program or you've watched much of Sifu Dan's uh, videos then y you would have caught it uh, but uh, that that video that I referenced there which I know I can talk about it's posted on YouTube I'm kind of fishing it out there on purpose so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll play with it a little bit longer but that video there really, really changed a lot for me. Uh, more than I expected it to. When I sat down and I took notes, and I broke everything down, and I found out who I was, and where I was, and who the other people around me were, it changed the way I interacted with them. It changed the way I interact with people at work now. It has helped me to develop and increase a skill that I already had to an extent to be a salesman and and I'm, I'm a decent car salesman I don't do bad um, but but I know I can be better I, I, there's always better there's always something new to learn this was one of the biggest well then one of the other videos mentions finding why finding your why is your why stronger than your wall that's what you need to find out. That's what we all need to find out within ourselves. Is your why stronger than your wall? We all have a wall. We all have a wall. We all have that point that we get up to and we look down. Do we jump or not? Do we go through it? Or do we back back off and sit back down where we're comfortable? Is your why enough to push you off the edge? Mine is. 
I've stood at that wall for far too long. I'm going to try. I'm going to work up to it. I'm going to get up to it. And I start getting into something. And then I reach that point where it's time to step beyond what's normal. Beyond what is comfortable. And I can't do that yet. And I would back down. I decided to join the HTC program when I decided my will, my, my want, my, my why is now stronger than my wall. And so I sat down and I told my wife. I said, look, I've tried working a lot of online things before, got ripped off a few times, uh, lost a good bit of money, um, uh, been up and down with all sorts of things. But this is different. This is real. This is something that is going to take me beyond. She asked what it was, and I told her the, the high ticket closing. I want my HTC certification. I want it. Uh, even if I don't make it to the point that I'm in the inner circle and, and I get to the point where I'm working beside Dan. Even if I don't, the information alone I know is worth it. I've seen what he teaches and gives away for free. Oh, I, I can't imagine what I'm about to get now. I told my wife I wanted it. That in my opinion, it was worth it. She said, let me look over some numbers. Let's do it. I was expecting resistance. I was expecting clo to, to, to close her. But I have, I, I have grown enough in the past few months that she believes in me. That right there is enough wind beneath my wings to fly over any wall that gets put in front of me. My drive to be able to give her peace of mind that we are finally there that we will never have to worry about whether I lose a job or not and fall back into a rut whether I, I sell enough cars that month or not and we're going to struggle this month until the next month gets there whether I've sold enough over the last couple of months that we've got enough back that we can manage through that that when her family that lives out of town says hey why don't you come down to hang around with us for Christmas I can't get off work or we can't afford the trip when she can finally sit down and breathe that sigh of relief I'm safe we're here he really did it and, and, and it won't be he really did it from her it'll be he finally sees what I saw that's what it'll be from her because she's seen it all this time and that that folks is a why that's stronger than any wall is your why stronger than your wall if it's not you need to dig deeper and find it uh, add me on Facebook let's talk I'll help I'll help dig into it I'll answer questions I'll ask questions we'll dig around we'll try to find it uh, I'm no guru, I'm no master at anything, but I, I know what I had to dig through to find it. Maybe an outside perspective will help you get it. I needed an outside perspective. I heard bits and pieces of similarities from other people and started thinking, you know, I wonder if, and started looking into myself to find it. So let, let me help, I will. But here's a point. Once I found out my why was stronger than my wall, I acted on it. I moved on. I knew. I want this. Let's go. I know what it's going to cost. I'm not worried about the monetary value. Money we can make. Make all the money in the world. The longer I wait, the more time I waste. I can't make time back. I can make money back. We need to do this now. Let's go. She agreed. We're here. I'm going. I fully believe I, I'm going to finish off this program. I am going to join the inner circle. 
and within a year or two, Sifu Dan is going to know my name. He will remember me. I'm going to be the one out of season nine that shines. I hope some of my brothers and sisters in the HTC family who watch this take this and use it as a drive. Use it to prove me wrong. Let's go. It's, it's good for all of us. But I know how strong my why is. I know how long I have struggled to find where I fit. And this is it. This is reality. This is who I am. Right now, before I've ever even finished the program, where my mind is, where I know I'm going, I'm already a high ticket closer. And I know it. Gonna get a little help, pulling bits and pieces of it out of me, but I know it's there. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to all of us who are in this class growing on it everybody who's went through it growing on it I am going to make sure people remember me who are part of this group I want to be standing there beside Sergeant Soon I want to be standing right there right beside him saying I remember when this is where I was and look at me now if I can do it, anybody can. If Desmond can do it, anybody can. If a 15-year-old boy that came to Canada without a word of English on his lips fought his ass off to learn what he learned to become what Sifu Dan is, and he could do it, I can do it. He's opened up his heart to teach us how to get there. All we have to do is listen, learn, and do. Quit sitting on the fence. Quit wishy-washing back and forth. Do. That's the difference between make it or break it. End of story. Do. If you sit around wondering if you should or not, you never will. Your why is not stronger than your wall. If you're having trouble deciding whether you should step into this business opportunity or that business opportunity, if you are right on the wall of doing anything, whether it's joining the HTC program, whether it's buying into another program, whether it's getting into real estate, promoting whatever it is that you're doing, starting your own business idea that you've had for two years now that you've got all written out on paper and been through all this that, and the other and you you think everything's ready but you're just not sure do or you never will I've heard Sifu say it many times and I'm sure I'll hear it many many more how you do something is how you do everything If all you're going to do is sit around, take your time, and plan, planning doesn't get anything done. Action gets it done. Do. Plan as you go. Make the decision. Jump. Figure out how to get the parachute on on the way down. See, once you've jumped, you damn well better get that chute on. Once you've made the decision, you have dove in. You're going to learn to swim. Or you're not. And then if you don't, well then, help will come pull you back up. You jump in and try again. Make the decision. Dig for your why. Find the why that's stronger than your wall. Walk up to that wall, tell it to fuck off and jump. Live. Don Stratton Jr. I am enrolled in the HTC program. I am a member of the High Ticket Closers family. And I am looking 
looking forward to seeing how high a ticket I can get to. Follow me. Join me. Watch me. This isn't a story you're going to hear about. Well, it is a story people are going to hear about 10 years from now, 2 years from now, 3 years from now. Look at where I started. Look at where I am now. Go back. Watch my past YouTube videos and see where I was. You folks can sit right here and see it live. You can watch it. Every day, every other day, I'm putting videos up. I'm explaining where I'm at. I'm telling you where my mindset's at, what I'm doing. You're going to be able to watch it as it unfolds. I'll show you your reality. And if you can't find your why that's stronger than the wall, let me know. I'll help. If you're on the fence about it and you don't know about it, keep watching. And if watching me do it, watching this ordinary, I work at a car lot man, become what I'm about to become, watch me do it. You can do it. Anybody can. Your why has to be bigger than your wall. You have to be able to shut up, listen, and do. If you would like a little bit of help, I've got a book that I wrote down below where I have compiled and put together a bunch of information that I have pulled from influencers and businessmen from around the internet and YouTube, and I have compiled some of it and uh, put some of what I think are the most important steps into starting to get your business known, starting to get out into the world, but more importantly, starting to get your head right. Grab the book. It's absolutely free. It's only five pages. It's little. If you can't take the time to read five pages and see if it's worth your time or not, you're probably not ever going to make the decisions that make the big changes. Quit sitting on the fence. Decide now to do. And I will see you way, way over to Rainbow. Thank you very much for coming by. Hit that subscribe button. Download the book. Add me on Facebook. We can talk. We can chat. I can help you out. You can follow me there. I'm open. Let's go.